Good morning, Rach. Good morning. We're out mowing lawns today, right? Yeah, mowing, mowing, mowing today. Well, we did stop and get some compost for ourselves. Hence, that's why it's all over the truck that I just blew out. All and over the truck. All over us. But that's all right. I'm not complaining. It's for a good cause. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at that lady. I don't know where she was coming from. But, yeah, yeah, it's for a good cause. We're going to go back to the house and plant a whole bunch of stuff in the pots. But that'll be in a different video, so you guys won't see that. Yeah. Well, today you will if you watch it another day, but... Today we're just mowing, mowing, mowing. We might be moving a couple plants if we can find a shovel since Carl forgot it. It's always me. Always <laughs> me. <laughs> All but. right. Let's get to work. Okay. Boss. You don't follow the bear, man. Yeah, there's a lot of it went into her yard? Yeah. You hear the dogs barking? Okay, boss, you gotta be on the lookout for a bear. It I just know. ran across the street through the neighbor's yard. I so. better be careful going into her backyard, actually. Yeah, because... just 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 keep your head on a swivel. <laughs> yeah. the bears are known in this neighborhood. I, Rachel gets nervous when we go mow back in the one yard because there's a tree that it could be under. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Well, I think it'll run once we start everything up. Yeah, probably. So we're gonna get to mowing. We have, what, five in here? Yeah. So here's the first five. One, two, three, four, five down there. Hopefully the clouds roll in over top of us. Rachel's finishing blowing up on there. We have one more to do in here. We did all four of them. Um, and then we have this one we're gonna do real quick. So I'm gonna start edging. Rachel's gonna mow everything. Okay, guys, here's number six. Um, it's actually pretty long, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, but like there's... Dry spots. Yeah. See all the dry spots, guys? So dry. We just need like every three days a half inch of rain for like a couple weeks. <laughs> this gladiolus is going to be so pretty. These are really pretty. I guess these weren't weeds, right? They were five o'clocks, right? Four o'clock. Four o'clocks. I keep saying five, five o'clock. Watch out, you're gonna get stung. Oh yeah, I see. But look how tall. How did this echinacea get so tall? I have no idea. Okay, we're gonna get this one mowed. I'm gonna fertilize it with two rounds of fertilizer too. The ironite and the 007. So let's go ahead and get this going. So Rachel's finished off balling this one. Not bad. I did two rounds of fertilizer, the iron and the um, pre-emergent. So we have one more to do up here.
So we're done this one. Rachel said there was probably bears in the backyard. They had they had them little camera things trail, set up every year. Trail, trail cams camera. to catch you mowing. Yeah. No, they're probably for the bear because I saw a bear scat if you pull it back. <laughs> I guess. Okay, we're they done. They don't have a dog, so I know no. that it wasn't a dog. Well, yeah, they do. He does. There was a little tiny bear dog poo in there. You didn't see it on the side strip there? Little tiny. No. Yeah. Oh, they do have a little Yeah, he has a little dog. Oh, I didn't know that. But no, this was from if this wasn't a big dog, then it was a bear. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going back to the house to take a break. Like this might be TMI, but it was the size of Mel's. Really? Nice. <laughs> yeah, they don't have a dog that bad. Yeah. Here is our next lawn. I get to mow this one with the beast. That's a rarity, guys. I don't ever get to use the beast, so we're gonna record it. <laughs> right? So here's the last one for the day. So this will make nine, nine that we mowed. Not bad. <laughs> this one ain't that long neither. I get to go weedy everything. Look guys, we're at 1,043 hours now. Well guys, that's not good. That's not good at all. I wasn't recording guys, this 
this one. I'm in a family channel. I went running down the street throwing the weed eater, cursing. two minutes and six seconds. I'm not going to be able to open my hand later. Oh man, I didn't want this. The only bad thing is Rachel's going to try to get me to take Benadryl. When I take Benadryl, I fall asleep and I got way too much stuff to do in the garden tonight. Look at that. My knuckles are already swollen. Let's see how big it gets. Get them on for the team. I'll take them on for the team because my husband and the client are both allergic to it. And that's gasoline, guys. It's not environmentally friendly. You need to dump it in the hole and run. In my hand now. What are you going to beat it with a stick? Yeah. Dump it and run. They're right there. Really, man? Really, now you're not getting them headphones back until next week. Really? Why would you leave your headphones on? I need to. And you didn't get it all down the hole. That is not, they are not happy. Okay, so maybe you can get on your beast and go full speed with your hand down and grab the headphones. No, I can't. I think you got gas all over the headphones too, didn't you? You want me to go get him? No. Do I just run? Hold on, I need to rinse my hand. Look at my hand already. Oh my it's like a big club. That hasn't even been an hour. What is that gonna do? Run, man! Just run and snatch. Take one for the tea. You want me to do it? Yeah, I know. They're flying around your head, your body, everything. You think if you go that way, they won't see you? I would not go near there. We can come back and get it later. So we're done for the day. Man, his hand is really swollen already. Do you guys want to see? Does this look does this look swollen? Can they notice can you notice? If you put your two hands together, here let me hold it. And then you put your two hands together. Like yeah. this? Wow. Oh my goodness, man. It got me good, guys. Yeah. Oh wow. Are you gonna have knuckles left tomorrow? Probably not. I feel like I can't even close my hand and it itches so bad. Already. But you can have it back. So tomorrow is gonna be the bad day. When I get stung, I get really sweaty the next day and oh boy. Well and, and everything I am, that touches me, I jump up into a tree like a little baby. I'm gonna make him take Benadryl tonight. He will not take it during the day because it makes him tired. And he doesn't like to stop. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass out and fall asleep. We're not so. going to bed early. No. No. I'll dip it in some Epsom salt. Oh my maybe. goodness, man. They said it back in the old days if you pee in a puddle of if you pee in dirt and make mud and put it on your hand. Isn't that I don't know if that's right. I mean that's kinda unsanitary. Right? I, would think, I would think so. I would think that that would bring on infection. But maybe the ammonia in it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know either. But... Maybe it's an old wives' tale. Yeah, we're not going with any old wives' tale. We'll just go in and take some Benadryl. And... No, we won't be taking Benadryl. We'll rub some Benadryl on my arm a little bit and then we'll do work outside and water plants and then... Man, he's just so stubborn. You're but, so stubborn. You know, I have a feeling the boss ran it over first and primed the, the nest for me. So then when I came back around that tree. I didn't even mow. No, you there. weren't mowed there yet? No. No, try to blame it on because the Because remember you, after you got stung, I had to hurry up and mow that area at least. You didn't have to. You just like to get revenge on the bees <laughs> and run them all over for stinging your husband, right? Is yeah. that what it really is? Yeah. Carl said, what are you going to do? Hit it with a stick. I said, 
Yeah. I like the cans of spray better because then you can like hit them if they're coming to you. They might be a little more environmentally safe too than gasoline, but and the fact that it was right there in the front yard. And they're both highly allergic. Yeah, to they're these. both the client and his daughter are both highly allergic to to bees. So um they have an EpiPen. Carl has one too, but we I told never, the boss she ain't God, sticking me with that thing it. until I pass out. But you right. have it just in case, yeah. man. So, and I actually don't think that I have it with me right now. Is the medical kit in here? Oh, yeah, it is. The yeah. medical kit so, is in here. You ain't sticking me with it. Well, no, I'm not doing it now because you're fine. But if like six of them came out and I saw you drop to the ground, sorry, buddy. I'm sticking you with an EpiPen. Uh, just telling you. Just so you know. <laughs> okay, we're gonna end this video. <laughs> yeah. We did get nine lawns mowed. One short than usual, but like yesterday, one didn't look like it needed to be mowed. So, and unless we get this new system. Well, there was a couple more than just one that didn't look yeah. like it needed to be mowed. The only benefit today was that there were a couple two weekers in there. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. That was the only benefit, but um, we mowed. But guys, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy, guys. Or at least try. And don't forget even if you get yeah. And don't forget hit the notification bell. And even if you get stung by a bee. Yeah. Be happy. Be happy. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good night.